Okay, no excuses. There is no reason why if you are installing a new steam boiler, you should, if you need an automatic feeder, not be installing the VXT by Hydrolevel. Um, this is, uh, I just finished this one up. Got this one in with uh, ProPressed. Got it anchored to the system. I've got it pitching upward for a little bit of ease of use. I probably could have gone with a little better angle. Um, this is the shutoff I installed earlier this week, a backflow preventer. Uh, it's at a weird angle. So I uh, used a couple of, rolled a couple of uh, Street 45s to make it uh, reasonably rectilinear out of there and into the uh, feeder. This is a shutoff valve, a three quarter inch male by female webstone uh, that's installed so you can uh, service this thing. This thing just needs to be wired. And this is your manual bypass to um, allow for filling when there is no power to the boil uh, to the uh, the feeder. Normally, you would be pressing the the feed button. I've got the system draining now for the evening. We'll come back tomorrow and uh, wire and fire this thing for real. So this is their newest version. Um, the nice thing about their newer, newest version is that by loosening this screw here and this screw here, you're able to rotate this thing into almost any position that you want. Now there are some limitations right now. It's Like that, for example. Uh, you can put it upside down like the other one was. Um, you saw that, you may have seen that uh, earlier version. There's no excuse to do that now. There's no excuse to not have this thing set up so that you can uh, put it so that you, you cared like you, you were trying to do a good job. Right now, uh, it comes set from the factory at a uh, two-minute delay. That dip switch there is depressed, and it's set for low water cutoff. We're going to probably change that to a one-gallon and two-minute delay. We'll see how that works out. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, hope, to, hope to see fewer and fewer of these things installed and properly, and I hope to see that... Uh, Anytime you uh, come across the black mailbox or the McDonough Miller 101A, which is a piece of junk and should be banned, uh, you should be installing this instead. Thank you very much. Take care. Happy steaming. And I'll see you on the next.